guys, it's Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons, and we have a real treat for you today. My friend Katie Byrne from Beltway Balloons in DC has come out here to show you guys some amazing things. So we are, we are so lucky because she is the best there is in DC. She's also the editor of my last couple books. So if you like the book, you can thank her, and if you didn't, well, you can thank her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, you can blame me. Anyways, without further ado, Katie is going to show us something awesome. Hi guys, Katie here from Beltway Balloons in Washington, D.C., www.beltwayballoons.com. And I'm here helping Sandy out today. We're going to do a monster frame. So I'm going to start and tell you just quickly how we do this frame. Uh, Sandy has other videos on her channel about how to do picture frames, so you can uh, check there. These are two floor lamps that we have on either side, uh, along with two pieces of PVC that are about, I would say, five feet-ish in length. Uh, the top pieces have little elbows connecting, and right here is a, a T-piece. Um, and you can just get these in the hardware aisle uh, at your local hardware store. So these are just taped on and then taped to the poles. That's it. Pretty easy to do. Make sure you put a lot of tape on there if this is going to be outside or if it's going to be around small children because they like to really get into it. So, let's build our monster. We're going to start on the side because he's going to have a little bit of a waist. So we're going to use quads of balloons. These are sized to about nine and a half inches maybe. And we're going to alternate colors because this guy is going to be lime green and teal. And we're gonna do this on both sides. So I'm gonna have Sandy come on in and help me and just mirror what I'm doing on this side on this side. the sides of our picture frame ready to go and what we're gonna do is just load the rest of it you can do this in any color combination you want we chose these two colors because they look really good together because it's a monster it doesn't have to be perfect you can do two blues two greens three blues one green it doesn't matter just go with whatever looks good to you so we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of the frame loaded with smaller balloons sized to about four inches your frame without having to do quads is to actually do it in duplets which is how I do it a lot I wouldn't recommend it if it's for an outdoor installation but for indoors I think it's really easy just to put two quads or I'm sorry two balloons this way in a duplet two balloons this way in a duplet and shove them together and it just makes the quad instantly some people prefer quads some people prefer it this way you can also attach it to the frame by twisting it around itself So once we get all of our balloons loaded on, it's starting to look a little bit monstery, but let's give them some personality and make them really monstery. We're gonna start with some eyeballs. This is a 16 inch Geo Donut. Uh, you can use any color you want. It's a monster, so we're gonna use dark green because it'll look good. And then I'm taking the five inch scary eyeball print, which I've tied a 260 to. And actually what I'm gonna do is cut this little knot off Gotta hide your mechanics. So we're gonna cut that off so it doesn't show. And we're just gonna fish the 260 right through the geodome. We're gonna use that to attach it to the frame. And I'm just pulling the 260 back so that it'll just loop around these balloons. And then I'll wrap it unto itself so that it stays in the front there. Although if it gets wonky, you can always use, you know, glue dots or whatever you have to. So 
Let's grab the other eyeball. Had our mechanics. All right, let's see. We're gonna put this guy right about there. And again, you're just taking your 260 and stretching it over the top, wrapping it around the balloons. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing in nature is symmetrical. Is that the truth? Alrighty. So, to give our monster a little bit of an expression, we're going to give him some eyebrows. I need one more eyebrow. So, we can make our monster mad. We can make him surprised. We can do all kinds of stuff with our monster. I think we will do an angry monster. Does he look angry? Oh, he does, look at this. So cute. cute. So now we're gonna give him some teeth because he's a monster. These are white 321s. And the way that I inflated these is to put it onto the pump and get all the way down to the tip, the tip that would be dipped if it was a bee body. This is obviously not a dipped one. And then I started inflating it there and it's a little hard and takes a little practice, but that allows you to fully inflate it without having to squeeze the air in and you know fight with it. So for the teeth, you really can just set them down in, uh, in the gaps that the balloons create. And they have a long enough tail that you can use that to wrap in, or you can use blue dots, or you can add a 260. So I'm looking to see where is even. I started kind of in the middle. This one is about two quads from the side, so I'm gonna go two quads from the side over here and stick another one there. I always try to do things in odds. It, they, they say you're supposed to do, you know, when you decorate, you're supposed to do things in odds. And I tend to agree, I think it looks a little better. Yeah, that way the, the focal, the center focal point is something and not negative space. Exactly. This is so adorable. Oh my God, I'm in love. Like the cutest stinking thing, isn't it? I love it. So you could go further. You know, it's kind of hard to see his teeth because we're on a white background. Here, Don't wait, do I, I'm wearing black. We'll stand back. Here there. we go. Here we go. You get in the frame with your friend. So you could add arms if you wanted to. We didn't do arms here because it might be a little bit wide for a photograph. <laughs> but you could. You could add anything. You could add ears. You could add more eyes. It's a monster. It doesn't need to have just two. You could add more teeth. You could really do anything you want. You could add legs. You could use six inch geoblossoms, you could twist, you could do any kind of thing you want for the legs. Or you can just leave it naked. It looks fine. Thanks so much for having me, Sandy. This was a lot of fun. Oh my God, I love this. Love, 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 love this. Guys, if you wanna see more of Katie, drop a comment, let me know. We'll bring her out to make some more videos with us. And of course, subscribe to my channel. We're making a video every single week. Make sure you like this video and leave us a comment. Let me know what do you want to see. Go check out our books on Amazon. And until next time, you want to say it? I do. Let's say it together. Okay. One, two, three. Go, go forth and balloonify.